All right, so we're gonna jump into the very first Mega Man game, my least favorite one, actually, but uh, still a great game, Mega Man 1, which is also the hardest Mega Man game. And we're gonna start uh, with my dude, Bomb Man. You can also start with Cut Man, but it makes the most sense to start with Bomb Man because you're gonna need to do a cycle in which you get to a Lech Man stage um, with the with Guts Man's weapon. It's complicated now, but you're gonna understand a little while. So let's, let's get it going with it. Oh god, I got Shades Nation before. All right, there we go. So I'm playing, as you know, on Mega Man Legacy Collection on PS4, uh, so I do apologize that PS4's buttons are a little loud. You're gonna hear a lot of clickety-clacking as I play the game here. So that's just the way it's gonna be. Nah. So, things that you need to know about Mega Man 1. Came out in 1987, uh, 1988, depending on where you are in the world. Um, it's a, a really unique kind of Mega Man game in the sense that it's it's really hard. There are kind of different rules to it. No E-Tanks. If you hit spikes even when you're invincible um, after being hit by an enemy, you'll still die. Um, it's only got six Robot Masters instead of eight. It's definitely uh, the shortest Mega Man game, but I think also like really the most grueling one for sure. Uh, so we're continuing on through Bomb Man's stage. Uh, not a terribly difficult stage to get through, although now that I say that I'll probably die at some point. Uh, those particular flying penguin-like enemies explode. That explosion will damage you if you're near it, so you want to stay away. You can also see that because of the limitations of early NES games, uh, the explosions cause slowdown almost every time you do it. Which is why I try to kill them when I, try to avoid killing them when I can. This thing here, we want to climb up as quickly as possible and then start going to the left like really quick because the guy will spawn right behind you. It's a classic evil Mega Man trick. This guy shoot once, kill him there, jump here, kill him there. And then we get to the on. Oof. Just time that. Climbing's not very good right now. Oof. Alright, so we're pretty much almost to the end uh, of this stage. Just gotta deal with one more sniper Joe. You can just kinda jump through him if you want, it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna need too much health to get through Bond Man. Here, uh, another cool thing about Mega Man 1 compared to the other ones is uh, you kind of have to um, get through these areas in between like interstitial boss areas. Crap, got hit there now. I might actually need that health. Um, in the future Mega Man games, you basically just go through a door and you end up at the boss's layer pretty automatically. Let's see what we can do here. So the idea here is to like stay as near as Bomb Man as possible to keep him moving. Because he'll always jump away from you. So that's the end of Bomb Man. We collect the uh, token, and we move on. Bomb Man's dead. So we have the Hyper Bomb, his weapon now. And unlike the other Mega Man games, nothing really happening after the stage to let you know what's going on or what you have. It's just the Black Dad stage, which you could go back to if you wanted. But uh, we'll use the bombs on Guts Man, so we'll go to Guts Man's stage next. Guts Man, of course, an icon along with Cut Man, I think an iconic Robot Master from uh, Mega Man 1. And of course this is an iconic stage in Mega Man as well. So we're cruising along, you need to kind of jump carefully here. If you have the Magnet Beam, which we don't have yet, because uh, we went in a different order, you could just skip this part completely. But we do not have that luxury. These guys are annoying, you gotta, gotta just get rid of them there. So the little dots that a lot of these guys, not what I just collected, that's health, but the little dots that are dropped uh, are points. And Mega Man 1 is the only Mega Man game in the core series with a point system. Again, a sign of the times, kind of. Where is he? There he is. These guys are a little bit annoying. You'll see a version of them in Mega Man 3, actually. Driving these little... Um, these little vehicles on a place like Hardman Stage, for instance. Come on up here, you little son of a bitch. There you go. Oh. Alright, so we're almost to the end already. There's just one more obstacle we have to get through, which is this guy here. And, and it's tough to, like, you gotta get him to jump. Yeah. You commit, and you kinda gotta get him to jump over you. He'll jump high. Let's see if we can, yeah, see, like, right there, and you just kinda gotta commit. 
He does a lot of damage. We'll be okay. So one of the advantages of these like interstitial areas during boss fights, uh, or before boss fights I should say, is that you fight enemies and in, in, in most of them and they can actually drop things like items for you to use to heal yourself if you need to or you need for some reason you need weapon energy or whatever, which we don't. Um, so I'm gonna run back and forth and try to kill some of these, what they're called, they're called Mets. These classic Mega Man enemies just to get a little bit of health. Just in case. Gutsman does a lot of damage. So that's actually the trick, we go to the menu, we pick out the bombs, the hyper bombs, and we fight Gutsman. He jumps and causes the ground to shake, so you kind of just have to be a little patient here. He's coming right up on me here. Let's see if this bell should damage him, and hopefully... Nope, he's gonna stay. Jumps right into the bomb, perfect, dead. So Gutsman is done. We collect the token, now we get the super arm, his weapon, which allows you to pick up these bricks that you see here um, on the uh, left side of the screen. All right, so we're gonna use Gutsman's weapon on Cutman. Now, Cutman, again, easy enough, super easy actually to beat with your arm cannon, but um, don't wanna start here, and I'll, I'm gonna show you why in a minute, after we get through Cutman. Bless you, Kevin. Kevin's off screen sneezing. We don't want to let that, that sneeze go without, you know, wishing him a well. So these guys shoot four times and you kind of have to just time your movements a little bit. And you can actually shoot them from behind, I'll show you here. So we're continuing to climb. ignore these guys and just keep going. I'm, a, I'm not so much trying to beat the game quickly as much as I'm just, I, I like to be a little more efficient with the enemies, like killing them and whatnot. This guy's gonna cause me a lot of drama, so I'm gonna kill him now so he doesn't follow me forever. Not, these eyeballs, another classic Mega Man enemy, although they didn't make a real return until Mega Man 10, which is funny. So we're continuing our climb towards Cut Man. And you can see there's a lot of slowdown on this because there's enemies plus all the bullets. A lot of moving parts here. And these guys can all just be ignored as well as we move on. And again, a lot of slowdown here. And we can just ignore the rest of the enemies and continue on our way. Got to move quickly here to avoid the scissors out of that little machine and jumping along. We don't need uh, that energy, so we can just keep moving. And here the idea is to just kind of move, really as, move as quickly as possible to avoid those bullets. And then again, we have to deal with these guys again. Hopefully we can get them back. Nope, no high jump there again. Those guys are spun, like just damaged sponges, by the way. You just don't want to really try pull them. Now here, I'm not really going to need the help of extra energy. I don't think. I hope not. So we'll equip. So Gutsman's weapon is the first weapon introduced in the in the series. That's not really a projectile, and it happens in the very first game. There's only two bricks here that you can use. If you can connect with both of them you'll kill a cup man pretty quickly. And I actually glitched it out there, where sometimes you can grab it and it still stays on the screen, which is quite useful. Because I did miss him with that second one, otherwise I would have had to switch to my arm cannon and kind of go at him. So now we're halfway through the Robot Masters. We have Cutman's weapon, which we'll go to a Lechman stage next. Now, Lechman stage is, I think, the most difficult, uh, maybe the most difficult stage in the game. Fireman's is pretty tough, too. Uh, and a Lechman is the strongest Robot Master in any Mega Man game. This was a game that wasn't made like the other Mega Man games with a level of balance. Elect Man does an incredible amount of damage when he attacks. It's easy to die, even for good Mega Man players, while you fight him, and you'll see him at the end. Uh, this stage also has fantastic music, as you can hear. Alright. So the rolling cutters are good on those enemies because they're impervious to other attacks. So we can actually use it again here. So just get rid of these guys.
So we'll climb, we'll switch back to the arm cannon, which we'll need here. And these guys will float down. You need to take care of these guys quickly or they'll shoot at you, as you can see there. I thankfully fit right between those lightning bolts. But that usually doesn't happen. Here, disappearing blocks are introduced for the first time in the game. First time in the series. And those are a mainstay in Mega Man, as you, as you might know. And they get way more complicated than this. So that particular health is pretty much a trap. You don't really want to mess with that if you don't have to. Just as a tip. Now we'll continue our, we'll climb up here. And you have basically options. I, I try to, oh, I didn't get oh, quick enough so not to kill these guys. Damn. Um, you have an option to go right or left. I, I stay right, but there's really pros and cons to either. It doesn't really matter which way you go. You just have to kind of be quick. There we go. We continue our climb over upward. All right, so this is why we went in a certain order. If you started with Cutman, you wouldn't have fought Gutsman yet, and you wouldn't have gotten the option to use the super arm to get rid of these. And you need to get rid of these because you need this item, it's called the super, or, or magnet beam rather, as you can see here. Um, we'll use it in a little while and I'll show you what it's all about. Um, but if you didn't start with Bomb Man, you're gonna have to come back here later after you fight Gutsman. So that's why I choose to st start uh, with Bomb Man, so I can get the magnet beam in one fell swoop. It's just, it's just easier and quicker that way. See if we can kind of coax these guys to come down the ladder. There we go. Another guy killed himself. So then we can use uh, the super arm again here to get out of here. And then we'll use the magnet beam to get up and you'll see it for the first time. It just, it just makes platforms. And then here we can use it in a, a kind of in a more cheaty kind of way. So just skip that part. More electric attacks here to get through. And then we have just one last area to get through. And again, with one of these guys, hopefully a big high jump. There we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. We got it for the first time there. And we're almost there. So we'll switch uh, to rolling cutters. Cut man's weapon. And then you just have to kind of patiently climb. All right, and we're at Elect Man stage. Now, hopefully this goes smoothly. Elect Man does a lot of damage with his uh, Elect Beam, which he'll shoot at you, and so he needs three hits with the Rolling Cutter. So you see he did all the damage he just did me. And so he's dead, I got rid of him quick, but he did like a ton of damage. Um, and so he's done it. Now the Elect Beam, his weapon is, for Mega Man nerds will understand this, this his weapon is the Metal Blade of uh, Mega Man 1. And what I mean by that is, it's just extremely useful. Especially in Wily's Castle, you're just gonna use it a ton. Um, and uh, I'll show you what I mean uh, in a little while. Next up we go to Iceman, a little Eskimo robot, Arctic exploration robot. Try to take him out. These particular green enemies um, can be shot uh, in the head for one hit kills, or if you hit their bodies and kill their bodies, their heads will actually fly off of them, so you don't want to uh, mess around with them. And here's the first time we're in water in the series, in the uh, game in the series. It's true, uh, and it's the only Mega Man game uh, that doesn't have buoyancy in the water. Mega Man feels the exact same way underwater in this game as he does out of water, and in the other Mega Man games, that is not at all the case. Um, being underwater can be an advantage or a disadvantage. Oof, I'm not playing very well here, depending on uh, your situation. A lot of slowdown right over there. We're out of, we're out of dodge there. So because we got hit, we'll fight these little highball guys and grab the health they're guarding. Brings back up to max. And so here, we'll use the rolling cutters to get rid of this guy if we can. Oh, he dropped an extra life. Appreciate it. Might need it. And then we'll go about the block puzzle.
So we're through that. We'll go back to rolling cutters again to kill the enemy here. Try to rush him along a little bit. And we'll cheat a little bit here and use the magnet beam. Ah, I missed it both times. It's a lot of slowdown here. Alright. Oh! I'll just magnet beam my way back up. Now, I didn't really want to do that if I couldn't help because this part's a little bit annoying. And I like to use the magnet beam here if I can. Which I will. And uh, I'll drop down right here to grab this. Oh! <laughs> slid right off and killed myself. Too much momentum. Have to do it again. It's probably for the best, getting a little cocky there anyway. Alright. Back to rolling cutters. Okay. And then here we will do the same thing with the magnet beam if we can. Let's try this one more time. Okay, cool. I had no momentum there, which is good. And then we'll get through the rest of this. Okay, perfect. And see if we can press left to get that extra life. Since we lost one, might need it later. While this castle gets a little hairy. Uh, and we don't really need any of that stuff, so we'll just keep going. Alright, so we have to deal with these guys, and you can see, they just take a ton of punishment. Yeah. See, it just... A little too much punishment, one might say. But we are at Iceman's level, or our layer now. And uh, we can switch over to the Electric Beam to use on him. Now I'm going to teach you guys a little trick here, a little cheat. That's famous in Mega Man 1. You don't really need to use it on Iceman. You'll, I will be using it later. I'll be spamming the shit out of it. Uh, is that the Electric Beam can be broken. Watch. I'm pausing the game over and over again, and it just goes through him a bunch of times and kills him instantly. Um, that's a famous cheat in this game. Uh, you use the Start button on the NES controller, but on PS4, I'm using the L1 button to pause. Um, and it, it does away with him very quickly. It does damage to him over and over again. I'll use it on pretty much all of the bosses in Wily's Castle because it's just easier that way, and I'm a cheater. The final boss is uh, Fireman, who also has a pretty tough level. Um, and it's a tough robot to fight, even if you have the right weapon, and the right weapon for him is the Ice Slasher Iceman's weapon. And since I got hit, I might kind of, I kind of want to go and get these if I can. You just never know when you need your health. You know what, you know what I mean? You understand? Never know when those precious hit points might really count. But here we can use Magna Beam and just kind of skip a bunch of stuff. Well, now there are things you can do here to make your life a little easier. This guy's gonna knock me in the hole. I knew it. Um, you can use the ice slasher. I can't believe I died twice already. Use the ice slasher to uh, eliminate these uh, these obstacles if you want, um, but you don't have to. It's these like fry guy type dudes that are just completely obnoxious. Well, I'm invisible, so there we go. Okay. Or invincible, I should say. So we're almost to the end now. Here, this timing is pretty rough, so you're going to want to use the magnet beam um, to jump up and just skip it. 
And then here, you want to watch out for these explosive, like, missile, penguin, enemies that cause a lot of slowdown when you kill them. Yeah, things are just glitching out, as you can see. I just might keep running at this point. We're almost there. And then, as usual, um, actually, I'll show you the power of the Electbeam here. You just kind of do away with them. One hit. Them to aim. Get your health. Etc. And then we'll switch to uh, Ice Slasher for Fireman. And that's the end of Fireman, just kind of brute force him. Grab the token, and now all the Robot Masters are dead, although we will see them all again. Very shortly. And we'll do the best we can with them. Wily's now on the screen, so we can go and fight Wily himself, but we're not going to fight him immediately. we got to go to his castle, of course. He'll appear in his lovely UFO. So here's when we want to get a little more strategic. You can use the ice to freeze them in the air, which is great, great technique, because they do so much damage. And then you can switch over to, uh, you can either use the, you can actually use the electric beam on these two, but we want to save that. We'll use the super arm here to get rid of these. And then we'll use the ice. Ooh. The uh, the problem with the Mega Man Legacy Collection on PS4 is that the touchpad is so close to the options button. I do that. I'm like I've done that like a million times. And then we get through. You can grab that health if you want. It's pretty difficult to get. I, I don't actually need it here, surprisingly. So um, I can just ignore it. Now here's where you want to, if I was smart there, I would have used the Elect Beam right when I got up the ladder to kill those guys as they came down on me, but uh, I'm not smart. But I'll use the Elect Beam here just to, oh god, respawned. Uh, just to kind of get through this area quickly. I don't really need to dilly dally. I'll go back down. And here I like to take things like kind of just slowly. Oop. And down here, we're going to need... This is So this is one of the examples of where we just absolutely need the Magnet Beam. We can get through to kind of satiate our Magnet Beam a little bit. We can go down and grab those. Mega Man 1 actually respawns health pickups, so you can actually just go up and down the ladder if you want. Okay, and we are basically where we need to be. Now I'm gonna do my Elect Beam trick here again, and this is the Rock Monster, who is a famous Mega Man enemy. Do the best we can with him. Once he appears, we will cheat. Run to the other side of the screen as he appears. When you fight him again in Mega Man 3, it's easier because you can slide as well, which is quite useful. So you can see here, All right, so we're on to the next stage. Time to do it with these guys, a bunch of clowns. Ah, 
Ah, they keep spawning. There we go. Careful with these jumps. Okay. So here, uh, there's actually, the four actually disappears and you're just not even supposed to know that, so I'm actually gonna make a little platform here just to jump across and grab these and then we can fold it before. And this is when you start to fight uh, the other bad guys again. Now, you can't use the super arm here because there's no rocks, but you can fight Cutman the way you're really supposed to fight him, which is with uh, your Mega Buster. He'll just continue to jump and throw his rolling cutter off his head and then chase it. Um, so you're gonna get him to jump over you. He really like wants, has no desire to, to actually hit you, which is funny. So he's dead, and then we can fall through the floor and continue on with the stage. And here, oop, did it again. Here we're going to want to use uh, the Elect Beam. And just do that to get rid of him real quick. And then we'll jump over to the right here. And then we'll do it again. And here we're going to fight... Um, we're going to fight Elect Man, but before we do, do the same thing to kind of just replenish a little bit. And then for Elect Man, we're going to need the Rolling Cutters. Oh, actually, I have to go over here. There we go. And again, Electman does just an exorbitant amount of damage, so you're going to just want to stay back. You can. See, he just took half my life away, but he is dead now. And then, so here, you're going to have to use a little bit of fancy footwork. Ugh. Bad timing. There we go. And then we're going to start to our descent towards the clone machine where you're going to fight Mega Man himself. Or clone of Mega Man. Anyway. And here the Elect Beam again is quite useful since it shoots down. We're just going to have to be mindful to replenish it because we're really going to need all the energy we can get. Here there is going to be uh, multiple ones that you can kind of... Oops, shot the wrong way. There we go. Jump. You can kind of just ignore that guy if you want. And then here, there, you can do all that if you'd like. And then it doesn't hurt since you're going to be using the Elect Beam so much to go ahead and replenish it. And then we have just one more space to get through. Go ahead and grab these. And then here we go, we're going to fight Mega Man's clone. And Mega Man will use the weapon that you, um, use. But I'm going to cheat here as well. I'll show you how it's done. Hopefully we can do it the first time. Because this is actually a pretty hard boss fight. So here, you see how it keeps damaging him even as it goes through him. And he keeps falling back into it. It's probably clear of him now. So we just do it again. And you hear the game's kind of bugging out. Alright, so that's how you fight, that's how you do it, Kevin. God damn. You, you can fight him straight up, but I mean, I don't know why you'd want to. Yeah. The cheat's there. Alright, so we're going to continue on our way. We're almost uh, to Wily, but not yet. There's a little bit of time between that and now. We have to get through the stage first. What can I do for you, Nick? Thank you. Appreciate that. Cool. Alright, here we're going to use the Elect Beam because these guys are coming right at us. Oop, got hit. No good. Alright, we're going to continue our kind of rightward trip here. Things get a little crazy here. So this is where I'm going to start shooting just kind of always having bullets on the screen. And you're going to see why. Because you're going to want to do as much damage to these penguin enemies as possible, and eventually they're going to start exploding, and you're going to have to keep clear of them. And they start bugging out too, which is awesome. I lo so I love this, I love this uh, legacy collection because it really, they really are sh just straight up NES versions with all of their blemishes. As you can see, the, the sprites of these enemies are all screwed up right now.
Oof, that sucks. That might be the difference between life and death here. All right. So that does it for that boss. And now we're moving on to uh, the finale. Oh, Mega Man 1. And it's tough. The finale's tough. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it for you, Kevin. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's you know, as easy as anyone can do. It's, it's, it's hard, and I screw this up sometimes. So let's see what we can do. <sighs> so we keep climbing. Remember, don't avoid these guys. you got to kill them. We'll shoot you down. So here is a cleverly placed. Um, you know what? I'm not, we don't really even need to worry about it because we are fine on energy, actually. And I'm going to show you why because we can replenish all these in just a short amount of time. How's my magnet beam? I'm good at magnet beam. Okay, so we're definitely. Good. All right, so here we're going to want to equip the Magna Beam because it's just going to make our lives easier. And we can just do this and then go to this. And now we're going to wait for this thing to come back and forth, and I'm going to show you guys why in a minute. We're just going to wait a minute. There's a special item down there. It's a pinwheel. Um, and, oh, I missed. I, I should have paid more attention. Anyway, this item... Um, is super important, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. It's not in any other Mega Man game. And you don't have to get it, but it may, it's just going to make your life easier if you do. So I'm going to go here and grab the extra life. I'm going to let him pass, just not to mess anything up. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drop into him. You'll see that everything's, reflect, or everything's replenished now. And so we can go back and go into the portal here. And here we're going to fight the last four remaining... Um, Robot Masters, one after the other. And this is where things get a little crazy, because, um, well, it's just you don't want to, you have to fight them one after the other, you have no E-Tanks. Ugh, that might have been the difference. Okay. <clears throat> Gutsman is actually the one that's a real pain in the ass, and, I, and Fireman's a pain in the ass, too. So we got through him. We're in okay shape. We're going to fight Iceman. Just to, to be careful here, we're going to use the trick again with the Elect Beam. I missed him. There we go. And then uh, we're going to fight our friend Gutsman here. And, and so the, Gutsman is so random that it's hard to avoid getting hit by him. That should do it. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to go fight Wily. We're going to need the Elect Beam for it. We'll see how we do. I don't have much health, so I might actually just kill myself here and then do it again. Have you died at all? I died twice, yeah. I died on Fireman stage and on Iceman stage. So I can let this thing just kind of rip it apart. And the, the beauty is that the the, um, the UFO also moves backwards. And when it moves backwards... Yeah, I think I'm going to actually die here. I'm just going to kill myself so I don't have to do this again. Um, when it starts to move backwards, the Elect Beam will actually just stay with it and it just, just rips it up. Um, so we'll go back to the Elect Beam. See what happens here. All right. 
Let's try it again. You could also use Firestorm on parts of these bosses, but I just find the electric be much more satisfying for obvious reasons. Although the trick does work with Firestorm. So you can see I'm just damaging. So basically the idea here is that when you pause, the hitbox reappears. And so you can just destroy. And then we'll do the same thing. And you can see that it's kind of moving backwards with it. So it just stays in its hitbox the entire time. But it's like almost through. Just hanging on. That's it. Does that also hurt you? With their attacks? No, it doesn't. And so that's the end of Mega Man 1. Wily's defeated. And then we can enjoy the ending together. The fine ending of Mega Man 1. The never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated, Kevin. All of them. That's true. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace, of course, that famous quote from Mega Man War. And so that was Mega Man 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. It was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed that, you're really going to enjoy what's coming up because Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 are next, and those are really fantastic games. 4, 5, and 6, I mean, they're all fantastic games. I think this is actually the weakest one. Um... So if you enjoyed this, I hope you come back and uh, enjoy Mega Man 2 with me and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, and we'll, we'll get through those together as well. See how we do. 